Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 11.4, sixth question. This is perimeter and area chapter of class 7. The question is, two crossroads, each of width 10 meter, cut a rectangle through the center of a rectangular park of length 700 meter. Let me mark this. Length is 700 meter and breadth is 300 meter parallel to its sides. Find the area of the road. So we have to find the area of the road. Also find the area of the park excluding the crossroads. Give the answer in hectares. Okay, so what is given in the question here? They have mentioned that there is a park where the measurements are length is 70, 700 meter and breadth is 300 meter. So obviously the shape is a rectangle shape. So here the length is means this whole length is 700 meter and the width of the park is 300 meter. This is given in the question. They've also given that there are two crossroads like and they're crossing it right angle means they're perpendicular means they're crossing it 90 degree like this plus sign. You can see in the given figure here they are actually in this way because it's given that they are in a 90 degree they're making a right angle. Right angle means they are perpendicular they are uh, making a 90 degree here. It will be in a shape of plus and the width of the road is 10 meter wide means this width is 10 meter for both the roads this width and this width the width of the road wherever you measure is 10 meter wide now first question is we have to find out the area of the road and then we have sec in the question where we have to find out the area of the entire park where the roads are not included how to find out this now here you can see that I have marked A, B, C, D just to uh, give the names to the road. So this is A, B, C, D. This is a one road. And E, F, G, H is another road. I have also marked I, J, K, L because they are the interse intersection point and we have to work for that also. I'm going to tell you why I have marked I, J, K, L also later. Now first we're going to find out the area of the park. Now they have given the length of the park is 700 meter and the width of the park is 300 meter since the area of the rectangle is length into breadth we're going to use a formula to get the area of the whole park so let's find the answer so given this is about the park given length is equal to 700 meter and breadth is equal to 300 meter in that case area of park will be equal to length into breadth which is equal to 700 multiplied by 300 so 7 3s is 21 we will get the answer 21 we have total four zeros here to zero here to zero so total two four zeros will get and the units will be meter square so we got the area of the whole square the whole park now now we have to find out the area of the road. So first I want to find out the area of the road A, B, C, D. For that I want the measurements, right? I want length and breadth. How to find out? You can see here that the length, that is this one, this length is same as the length of the park. They have given that they are parallel, parallel to its sides they have given the question. So length will be same as length of the park sorry length of the road will be same as length of the park so here the we'll get here the length as 700 meter length of the road a b c d will be 700 so let me write down here this is for the road a b c d we're going to find out the area for this road a b c d first for the road A, B, C, D, length is equal to 700 meter because they are parallel to the area uh, length of the park. Okay, now we got this, but what is the breadth then? You can see that breadth is nothing but the width of the road and they have given the width of the road is 10 meter. So breadth will become 10 meter. So B is equal to 10 meter. Then area will be, so area of the road a b c d will be equal to length into breadth which is equal to 700 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 7000 so we'll get 7000 meter square now similarly we're going to find out the area of the another road that is e f g h 
now here again same thing we want the length of the road efgh so this is about the road efgh now what is the length here now this length is same as the breadth of the uh, the entire park or breadth or length anything you can take the both are parallel so in that case length will be equal to normally length is considered as the longest side of the rectangle so here the length will become now here the width is given in the question as 300 meter right it will become 300 meter and what will be the breadth of this efgh since the road is 10 meter wide so the breadth will be equal to 10 meter so area will become so area of the road EFGH will be equal to the formula is length into breadth which is equal to length uh, sorry let me substitute the value it will be equal to 300 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 3000 meter square now if you see here we have got all the values that is we found the area of the road ABCD we have found the area of the road EFGH but you can see here this IJKL KL, they are overlapping means that square portion which is intersecting there we are calculating twice we have calculated this portion already in the ABCD right so this area I am talking about IJKL this area which is in shape of square we have calculated in the ABCD and again we are calculating the same area in, in the EFGH also so we are calculating this IJKL twice so we have to subtract once this one because this area is covered in both the roads so we have to remove it once so what is the dimension then since this is 10 meter width so all the sides will be 10 meter which means the shape will become square here so IJKL is in a shape of square and area of square is side into side so area of IJKL is equal to now like I mentioned it is in a shape of square so it will become side square and side is 10 meter here that is the width of the road so 10 square which is equal to 100 meter square now we got the whole area area of ABCD we got the area of EFGH we got the area of IJKL now let's find the total area of the road that's the first question we're going to calculate now so area of the road will be area of the road is equal to first we're going to add area of ABCD and we're going to add area of EFGH and then from this two I'm going to subtract the area of IJKL I hope you understood why I'm subtracting because it is overlapping so we're calculating the area of IJKL twice so we have to remove once so let us substitute the value so in previously we have found the area of ABCD as 7000 meter square so area of ABCD is 7000 minus area of EFGH we have calculated as 3000 so plus 3000 area of IJKL we have calculated as 100 so minus 100 so 7000 plus 3000 is 10,000 10,000 minus 100 will be 9,900 meter square now since they want the area in hectares it's we have given in the question here calculate the answer in hectares so we have to convert it and we also know that 1 meter square not 1 meter square 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square so here meter square is smaller than hectare so when you're converting answer from meter square to the hectare we have to divide this so the area will become area of the road will become so 9,900 divided by 10,000 so this is equal to so instead of cancelling the numbers we won't directly put the decimal since we have a four zeros in the denominator you can put the decimal point from the right side after four digit so this will become 0 0.99 meters square also 0 0.99 hectares 
so that is the answer for the first question then the second question what they asking they are asking us to find out the area of the park excluding the road now we know the area of the park we know the area of the road so we have to just subtract them that's it so let me solve the answer for the second question here so in the second one we have to find out the area of park excluding we don't want road here excluding road will be equal to we know area of the park is 210000 means it is 2 lakh 10000 So two one zero 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 zero. So from area of the park, we're gonna subtract the area of the road. Area of the road we have got here is nine thousand nine hundred meter. So we have to subtract it nine thousand nine hundred meter square. So when you subtract these two values, we'll get two zero zero one double zero meter square. Again, we have to find the answer in he in hectares. So we're going to divide this with ten thousand. I have just written in the previous page that one hectare is equal to ten thousand meter square. So we have to divide this. So two zero zero one zero zero divided by ten thousand. So answer will be equal to twenty point zero one hectares. That's it. So we have got the answer for both the questions. I hope this is clear. Though this is very lengthy answer, but the problem is very simple. You have to just understand what you have to add and what you have to subtract. I hope this question is simple and you understood. In case you have any further question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.